Maplow Court near Maidenhead. But perhaps few remember this house or the man who lived in it, William Grenfell, Lord Desborough, who first helped bring the Games to London. A great talented sportsman, he won Olympic silver in the 1906 Athens Games. He also climbed mountains, rode the English Channel and swam the Niagara Rapids, twice. And when Mount Vesuvius erupted, meaning Italy couldn't host the 1908 Games, he convinced King Edward that London should step in. They had 18 months, no money, no stadium, no government support. The exhibition at Taplow Court is open on certain days throughout the summer, giving a glimpse into a Games that looked rather different from what we have today. Tug of war and water polo were on the bill. There was controversy over high ticket prices and low attendance, and the Americans accused the Brits of biased judging. Marathon runners were given oxo and champagne, but no water. Many athletes collapsed from dehydration, but the controversies helped shape the standards for future games. The, the track should be marked into lanes, the pool should be marked into lanes, um, definitions of amateur status, uh, should be clarified and the things that were problems um, set, set the agenda for the future. For Lord Desborough, the Games weren't just about sporting achievements. He hoped that by bringing different nations together in friendly rivalry, as he put it, to promote good feeling and to help prevent the outbreak of war. But of course it wasn't to be. Two of his sons were killed within weeks of each other in the First World War. We've got um, some medals. Exhibition organisers are hoping new generations will now learn well, of Lord Desborough's legacy. Prizing. The 2012 Olympics, a chance to retell his story. Um, Sonia Jessup, BBC London News. A glass of champagne.